Welcome, Parker. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, tell me a little bit about last season. Take me through it. Well, last season was kind of a movie. We uh we lost one of our teammates at the start of the year, and we didn't think we could bounce back after that. And then halfway through the season, we were on a roll. Like we didn't lose until February fifth or something. And then um we made it to the provincial final. So it was a really good year for our team that year. Almost got that championship. Uh, you were darn close. Tell us how close you were. Um, well, we lost game one, five one. Didn't really play our best. And then game two, we lost in overtime. So pretty close, I guess. And uh, congratulations on being drafted to the hometown WHL Broncos. Um, must run in the family. Uh, tell me a little bit about how it felt to get drafted and uh, why there's that family connection. Well, my uh, dad got, my dad played for the Swift Current Broncos for a couple of years and he was the assistant captain. And it's pretty cool that I'm following in his footsteps now. And on draft day, it was, I was super nervous, but I was really relieved when I got picked and it was just amazing. Wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, three kids off of your U15 team last year, drafted to the hometown Swift Current Broncos. Um, why did they pick so many hometown guys? And I know it wasn't because you guys are hometown favorites. It was because you were good hockey players, but what, uh, what made the group of you successful and what did the Broncos see that you're going to bring to the Legionnaires this year? Well, starting off with Bernie, he was, he was probably the best goaltender in Saskatchewan. So that's what the Broncos needed. They needed a goaltender because Reed Dick is going to move away soon. So they needed Bernie and he's a really good goalie. And then Wesley, he's amazing on the penalty kill. He can, he's, he's fearless. Like he'll do anything like, hip check someone in South finals and yeah. And one other player um, off the team was drafted too. Uh, that's coming to the Legionnaires. I'm sure the Broncos would love to have him a little bit about Jace. Uh, well, Jace, you don't want to get hit by that guy. He's a really tough kid and um, he's, he moves the puck well. He sees the ice really well. So Winnipeg guys should be glad they picked him. What makes you most successful as a hockey player, like your individual game? Probably when I'm moving my feet because I am I like to play fast and that's probably when I'm most successful, when I'm skating my hardest, working my hardest and stuff, moving the puck, shooting it, getting past players and stuff. Going back to the IPlex, uh, what's your best memory of playing in the IPlex or any memory of being in the IPlex, whether it was a big Bronco game or anything uh, Anything you have? I have two really good memories of the IFLEX. First, when the I was at the rink when the Broncos won the championship or like the WHL, and I, I got to go on the ice, which was pretty cool, I guess. And then second one was Pee Wee AA in uh, the overtime to send us to the fine finals. I missed I miss the puck, but my teammate was there to tap it in, so that was awesome. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Parker. Thank you very much for having me.